Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm giving my thoughts on Matt Taylor being sacked as Walsall manager. Um, I think this is probably the right decision, uh, but I'll go into further detail why there is further issues at this football club at the moment. It's a complete mess and a complete disgrace. So obviously last night we lost to Scunthorpe United 1-0 away from home. Um, we slipped down to 21st in the league and I think we're only four points um, above Aldermoo and 23rd and have a game in hand um, and it's just not looking good. I think Matt Taylor was probably um, knowing that this decision was com was coming um, but yeah, I just think he's been let down to by his assistant manager who's been given the interim manager role, um, Neil McDonald. Um, when he um, came to the club and when he was speaking on the interviews um, before the season started, he he said um, how much Neil McDonald's going to be a massive part and he hasn't really helped him, I don't think. Obviously, we don't know what goes on uh, beyond the scenes, but it, when you watch it on a match day, it just doesn't seem like he's giving him um, any tactics, any ideas, and it just shows on the football pitch too. We're out of ideas, we're out of ideas under Matt Taylor. It's the same every week. I know we changed to 3 5 2 recently, but it was 4 2 3 1. Just wasn't working. Um, and yeah, I know it's his first um, crack at men's football um, managing, so um, I hope we don't ruin his managerial career. Um, and I wish Matt Taylor all the best because I really wanted him to succeed at Warsaw but you know Jamie Fullerton has to take a lot of blame and um, he's brought in players that I don't think suited the system Matt Taylor wanted to play and um, you got like I said before you got square pegs in round holes and um, you got one striker really at the club I know you got Shay Willock um, who's you know is a youth striker and you got Devante Rodney who we've signed from Port Vale on an undisclosed fee and he's injured till March. So how does that work? Um, how has he passed the medical? I just don't know. And um, there's a lot going on beyond the scenes at the club that we don't know about. And it's um, not looking good. Um, Lee Pomlick's come out of a video too um, today. So and saying Neil McDonald's been appointed interim manager um, alongside with Matt Taylor. I think if you're going to sack Matt Taylor, I think they've all got to go, to be honest. Um, the coaching staff this season haven't been good enough and I think when you haven't won back-to-back -back games this season it was coming for Matt Taylor to be sacked but I think the others should have gone too because um, they're part of the mess and there's other parts of the club that are a mess too starting with the board and oh, just absolute disgrace um, you know there's no ambition in the club um, the 21st in League 2 was slipping down the league every year at this rate, as the last year we finished 19th in the league, Pomlet said this won't happen again and it's we've got even worse I think. Um, but on that Scumfort result, seven defeats in a row, I think it was coming for Matt Taylor. Um, but the early um, favourite to replace him, obviously Neil McDonald's top, who's interim manager, I would not like to see him as manager to be honest. And then I think the favourite underneath that is Paul Cook, um, late struggles at Ipswich. That would be a bad appointment. Um, and then you've got um, Rus Russell Penn at Kidderminster Harriers, who's um, also up there, one of the favourites. Um, obviously, on Saturday, they um, narrowly lost to West Ham 2-1. Um, you know, he might bring some passion into the team because you can tell when Kidderminster played West Ham on the weekend, they showed that passion. And I think... I think he lost the dressing room a little bit, Matt Taylor, towards the end. Um, you know, it's not like they didn't want to play for him. They just, you know, for some reason weren't getting the results for him. And I think we could have been five points, at least five points, better off this season if the players could put the ball in the back of the net. And you know, Jamie Fullerton um, has to take blame. Like I said, some of the signings have just not been good enough. Um, but yeah. I hope this this appointment. I said it in the Matt Taylor video, and um, when we saw um, appointed him as manager, this has to be right for the club. But this one, if we don't get it right, we are going to be in real big trouble. Um, you know, we're only like I said, four points above the relegation zone at the moment, and you know we've got some really tough games coming up: Tranmere, Forest Green, Swindon in our next three games. So I don't know where we're going to go from here. Let's hope we get a result um, um, against Tranmere. 
Who would I like to see as manager? Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. Let's see how it plans out, really. But Paul Cook wouldn't be a bad appointment. I've also seen Michael Flynn linked with the job. I think that would be a really good appointment. But I saw at Newport, he didn't like the transfer policy. So I don't know if he's going to work very well with Jamie Fullerton, who does all the signing. So I can't see that one happening. Um, I guess Russell Penn wouldn't be bad, but he's got a lack of experience in the EFL. But, you know, it has to be right for this club, this appointment. But, yeah, Matt Taylor lasted till, um, obviously, February. And I think he played 29, he had 29 games. Um, I think he lost 14 of them. And like I said, there was back, no back-to-back -back wins. Um, I think he won 7-2. So it's not really great. But I really wanted him to succeed. But it didn't work out for Matt Taylor. And I wish him all the best in the future. But, yeah, let's see where it goes from here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments of what you think of Matt Taylor's sacking and who would like to see replace Matt Taylor at Warsaw. So yeah, and up the saddlers.